Well, we bring harmony. Um, for instance, the view that Buddhism is secular in the sense it has no God. But there is a view in Buddhism that um, the true reality is a great oneness. Buddhism is a bit heavy on personhood not existing, individuality, except in the um, apparent reality of the material world. Um, but in some sense, the greater self is an enormous oneness of all things. And that it's this true reality, in this true reality, lies our, our peace and our um, nirvana in the sense of the uh, Hindu view, heaven in the sense of Christian view. And that one true self, in some sense, should therefore preoccupy us as a, a goal. We're seeking enlightenment, you see. Now, you could say that's not a god, but it's close. It's dominating um, your life pattern and your, your purpose. And uh, you could say it's an impersonal god, perhaps. But even that's entirely the case, because um, the personal God may manifest as personal, but that's in the plurality of other persons to relate with and to. And at the, dare I use the word, primal level of God, before he creates such plurality and individuality and ego in the best understanding and sense of the word, of uniqueness of each individual and a separateness that's ideally to be in harmony with each other and all, before that's created, in some sense he is an impersonal all, because there are no, there is nothing else other than him, to use masculine pronoun, but you know. So we find that we have a desire to seek out where there is inharmony, distinct, even conflicting religions in the world, to seek out a harmony, not to destroy everything that we don't like from a, a very limited perspective. Come that you might have life, and that is what life is. Life is, the fullness of life is the benefit of all life being in harmony and a blessing to each other. Thank you, Heavenly Father.